Reading and Julie Wing, a first-time voter who's part of the project. Welcome both. Uh, Julie, will you be voting? Um, yeah, hopefully, but at the minute I feel like I'm not too sure on who to vote. So I don't want to vote for like the wrong thing. So that's a problem for young people. They don't know enough about it. But that's for you to sort of do a bit of research? Yeah. Get on the internet, listen to what they're saying? Yeah, well, I think more should be done through education, though. Like, in school, we didn't, we never really did anything about it. We had, like, PSHE lessons, but most people didn't really take notice because, obviously, the way that they taught it to us wasn't the best way, probably. Is that something you found, Tom, that, the, that there's a lot of young people don't really understand the importance of politics? Definitely, yeah. I think there's, there's really, really a lack of awareness and young people not wanting to vote because they don't feel like they know enough. I don't think there's enough education around how conventional politics works and uh, how it relates to young people's everyday concerns and how they can actually influence politics. And part of, part of what we try to do at Uprising is get people campaigning on the issues they actually care about um, by doing online petitions, by uh, campaigning and writing to the local MP and that sort of stuff. So really getting them engaged in the political process. And through that, we find that they start to see those connections between their life, but, but what, issues what, they care about, young and what happened to not see those connections in the first place in the way that they did a few decades ago? That's a good question. I think it's partly down to the more, I suppose, ideologically polarised nature of debate, maybe 30 or so years ago. Um, but I think also it's to do with uh, MPs and how much they engage with young people. I think it's really, really important, as I said, that we have political education in schools, but also that we give young people the chance to get their voice heard and uh, to ensure that they, yeah, really, really get politicians listening to what they think about. And it's why we're holding a debate in a couple of weeks' time all over the UK uh, called the National Youth Debate. And it's just a chance for young people in every single city uh, to get their demands heard to politicians. Uh, have you decided who you're going to be voting for? No, at the minute, I don't have an idea. But it's a thing that young people don't think that if they're voting, that what actually happens is going to affect them. They probably think it affects their parents more than it affects them, when obviously it will affect them if it, they're in school, their education, like whether they get like education maintenance allowance and like the jobs in the future or university but obviously they just think taxes I'm not paying taxes at the minute so if I'm voting it doesn't really make a difference to me. Esther do you try to engage young people what more can be done? 